Welcome back to my latest video. In today's video, we will talk about Nginx Reverse Proxy Manager, its installation and what is necessary for it. Docker containers and Docker GUI system called Portainer. Why do you need Nginx Reverse Proxy Manager? In short, it's a one-point entry to your whole server. It's necessary so you could have several self-hosted systems that uses the same 80 and 443 ports, as you can't open for example port 80 from several internal IP addresses. At that moment, Nginx Reverse Proxy Manager comes in handy, you can tell it, what domain slash subdomain names are pointing to what internal IP addresses and on what port. Also it can automatically create self-signed certificates for your hosted systems. I already demonstrated in last video, how to use it, today we will be talking about, how to set it up for yourself. In order to set up Nginx Reverse Proxy Manager, we will need to set up a Docker container system. What is Docker? Wikigod told me that the Docker is a platform that uses OS-level virtualization to deliver software in packages called containers. Or in simpler terms, it allows you to host standalone packages in closed-down packages, aka containers. Containers include in them all necessary packages for the software to operate. In that way, it uses less system resources and is more stable and secure. To make Docker easier to use, we will need to set up graphical user interface called Portainer. It helps with visualizing and management of the containers. As usual, all the links and commands used in this video will be in the video description. Now then that's out of the way, let's get started. First we need to create a new virtual machine. I already showed you on how to make virtual machines in previous videos, so I will not explain in detail what each step means and why you should set it up like that, just follow my lead. We will be still using Ubuntu 22 for this installation. I personally use 30 gigabytes of storage for my production Docker environment, and haven't had any storage issues for now. Remember, you can always increase disk size later on, it's a lot harder to reduce disk size. As this will be the main entrance point for whole server, I gave this VM4 CPU cores, so there are no bottlenecks regarding the load speed etc. When everything is set up as you want, check over the configuration and if it's okay, press finish. Now that it have started up, follow my lead, remember to set up static IP address, we do not want it to change after restarts etc. Now at the disks tab, we can see then there is a free space left, as the automatic disk partitioning only takes 10 gigabytes for the system drive automatically. We need to increase it to the maximum available free space. In this example, I have 8.2 gigabytes free space left. Just select root directory drive, edit it and change size to the same number that is show in brackets on the left side. Always check the install SSH server. When we get to this screen, there is an option to install Docker automatically. In this example, I will not do that, but you can check it and press done. Now let's just wait 3 to 5 business days until the installation finishes. I will fast forward this part. Continue playing video when your installation have finished.
we need to unmount the installation ISO file. Under Options, edit the CD-ROM and remove installation media as I do here. When that's done, go back to the console and press Enter. While we wait for system to start up, did you know that Linux totally dominates supercomputers? As of 2018 100% of the world's 500 fastest supercomputers run Linux. Impressive! Okay as usual, first things first, we need to update the system. Now let's install docker with command apt install docker. After that's done, go to portainer.io homepage. Press on Get Started. Select Open Source. Select Set Up New Portainer. Then select Docker Standalone. Here, copy this line. In Proxmox, you can only paste things into the console, if it's an LXC virtual server, as this isn't one, we will need to either, type it out, or just open up a SSH connection to it. Open up a new command prompt, and type SSH and IP address of the virtual machine, then press enter. If your installation username differs from your personal computer username, you will need to use following command, as you need to provide username with what you are connecting to. You will get prompted about fingerprint confirmation just type yes and press enter. Enter your password that you set up in the installation process and press enter. Become a root user with the following command. Now we can paste commands in by just right clicking in the command prompt. Oh, looks like I forgot to install docker.io, so just type in apt install docker.io. Now after executing that command, go back to Portainer page and copy the next command. It will open up these two ports, no need to change anything there, just paste it in and press enter. You can check for running Docker containers with command, Docker PS, and that's it, you now have Docker with Portainer graphical interface. Open up the following page, just change localhost to the IP address you assigned to the Docker virtual machine.
Oh, it opened page as HTTP, copy the whole link and paste it back in, change HTTP to HTTPS and press enter. I would suggest you to set up a difficult password for this page, as from here, anyone who can get in, can access all the container data and or delete it. So if we go to the start page we can see the local environment, that is this virtual machine that we just set up. If we click on it and go under containers, we can see the portainer container running. Feel free to go explore for a bit, when ready to continue, unpause the video. Next, let's install Nginx Reverse Proxy Manager. Open up Nginx Reverse Proxy Manager homepage. Press Get Started and then select Quick Setup. Now just copy this. Go back to Portainer and select Stacks, there press Add Stack. Enter the name of the stack and paste the command we just copied in the Web Editor tab. Then just press deploy the stack and wait, it will take a while, depends on how much resources you gave the virtual machine. Cool it's done, if we check under containers, we can see that a new container was created and is running. The default username and password can be seen in the Nginx Proxy Manager homepage. Let's try to open it up now. Again, enter the virtual machine IP address and in the end add the port 81. Enter the default username and password. It will ask you to change email and password of the admin user, change them to your email and set up a password that is harder than password 123. And that's it, you now have Nginx Reverse Proxy Manager installed and ready to be used. Check my previous video, if you want to see, how to use it, If we go to Proxmox and check the Docker virtual machine memory usage, it will show, then it's using basically all the memory, which is not true, it's just reserved by the system. If we check in the console, system usage with top, then it's barely using like 300 megabytes of RAM. Last step that we need to do is to make sure, then backups are enabled for the Docker virtual machine. Go to Data Center, under Backups, edit the backup schedule and make sure then Docker virtual machine is checked there. And that's it for today's video. It was a bit shorter than I expected, but hey, still useful. Thank you for watching, please like and I know that it's hard to press that big button with subscribe on it, but please try if you haven't already, I believe in you. Anyhow, thanks for watching, if you have any questions or suggestions, please leave comment down below. See you in the next video, cheers.